We are tipping things off down in Finley. The Trojans are at home taking on St. Ursula. Early action, nice inbounds play by the Arrows. They find Juju Reichert on the low box, gets the lay-in to fall, gives the Arrows a three-point lead. But Finley would go on a 13-3 run. Madeline Stack Schulte with the nice dish to Olivia Mangus gets the bucket. Finley, nine-point lead at the half in the third. Nice ball movement by Finley. Bree Nichols with the kick out to Mangus. Nothing but net on the triple as they extend their lead to 13. And from there, they wouldn't let go of the lead. Bree Nichols in the post for the bucket as Finley gets the 40-21 win. And it feels good to get back in the winning column. I told the girls, it's nice to get a win. Uh, and th the way we did it, too, to get a win, and a lot of people are involved. Uh, we've been, like I said, we've been so close. We're getting that, we're getting better and better. Uh, just to put it together as a team, uh, we had different people step up. That's what I like to see. We really don't have one person, but we have a bunch of girls that can help. Mason Lowry and Rick Poland had the call, and they have more from Finley. Back out here in Finley, where tonight I think the Trojans proved above all else that the best offense is a good defense. Oh, absolutely. You know, like coaches will say that sometimes your defense jumpstarts your offense, and I think that's what happened here tonight. They came out, took the game to St. Ursula, forced them to take a lot of extra perimeter shots that didn't fall, and uh, they were able to get the ball inside offensively and take advantage of their size. Was really impressed with the job that Bree Nichols did for Finley on the inside. When they started to get really in rhythm in the second quarter, it was because they were feeding her on the low block, allowing St. Ursula to double team and letting her pass out of it to open teammates. Yes, and she made those good, quick, good passes coming out of that, too which uh, gave good open looks to her uh, teammates, and uh, that was a great team effort tonight. Yeah, nobody with more than seven points individually for the Finley Trojans. And I do wonder if this might be the night that this Finley team's fortunes turn around. They've had a really tough start to the season playing some really good teams like Start and Central Catholic. Sometimes, Rick, all it takes is one. Well, when you have an effort like tonight where it was up and down the lineup, uh, scoring was spread out, you get confidence in your other teammates. And if, if you're not on that night, you know that somebody else is going to be, and you hark back to this night when everybody played together. So uh, good, good for them from a team standpoint, and uh, that's what you like to see as a coach, your team playing together as a group and enjoying themselves. Big win here for the Trojans going into the holiday break. Back to you.